Okay, so here's the unit. Just pouring out the petrol. So here is the petrol pump and here is the new version. It consists of actually only the pump. So I'm going to need to install the pump into this whole mechanism. And I can see the pump is sitting over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... There are these little clips here. I'm going to open them and try and slide this open. Just be very careful. We don't want to break it. Gently. I'm gonna try and open this and see what's in stopping me. Let me pull this this out. Yes. Okay, what else is in the way here? Side. Yeah, right. Now that at least allows me some more room here. There we go. Okay, just careful the spring. Okay, now I've got access. I'll just put the spring to the side. Now Right, there's the old pump, and here's the new pump. Right, to reassemble, you need two hands, so I'll insert this first. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and now you can just line it up and see what it will be like. Yeah, let's see. Before you do, just see that it is going to be in the correct way. Remember, I'm going to have to put this on and it's going to need to fit in there. And then you seat that just to hold the pump in place. There we go. There, now it's seated. There's a gap there for it and this side isn't seated properly. Yeah. Now it's seated. Okay. I'm gonna put the filter um, on and you got like one chance here. So 
just make sure you do it properly just press it on right now I'm going to insert this back in here just going to open this first there we go A bit of a snug fit here. Fits, but now as you can see, the pump is a little bit raised. So I'm now going to the spacer. Maybe this is a universal space, it's actually not necessary because I'm now going to clip it onto the pump body itself. For the reason, yeah, there we go. For the reason that the the filter the profile of the filter of the original was thinner than the replacement the Bosch replacement so therefore I now needed to actually uh, lift this filter a little bit and it will it does seem to work this is seem, seems to be a universal spacer because there are different heights to it so maybe the different um, sizes it can accommodate all right so we don't actually need this spacer here I will just leave it in there it's not doing anybody any harm and it's now time to reassemble I'm going to put the spring back in. Just make sure all these sides are closed. This one is not closed. Just going to have to press it a bit tight. Okay, it's now closed. There we go. And got the spring there. This might, while this is still off, this might be a good time to actually just tighten this clamp here right the clamp is on now we're going to put the spring in here and this pin is going to go there it's a good idea to actually thread the wires in now while you've still got the space so I'm going to put the motor wire on the pump wire which goes okay pumps power is there positive and negative now the other connector that's in all right so now the pump has been changed for a new one i just want to see if this thing can actually depress once yes all right so now it's time to reinstall this